Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, guys. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot. Kirby's Block Ball action. My name is David. Man, this game uh, is something else. It's a uh, block ball. It's like, uh, you know, it's like a breakout. But it makes me kind of salty because of uh, the way that uh, bouncing off the paddle works. You would think the bouncing off the paddle would be the first thing they would uh, nail down. And I'm not saying, I'm not, I can't conclusively say that it's totally random the way that the paddle works. In fact, I know it's not totally random. But I do not really like the way that the bouncing works in this game. But uh, in any case, let's just get the show on the road and get this 100%. I found you on YouTube. I'm learning paddle. Good stuff, CPU idiot. Nice. So is your first language a CPU idiot? If you have any questions, let me know. Happy to answer them. Even if I'm playing Kirby. Alright, so let's uh, play this. Let's use it for Intro to Python. Okay, so we haven't uh, beat this world yet. That one's pretty hard, though. Let's do an easier one. Uh, let's start over here and see. It might take us uh, quite a few tries. It might take us all night, in fact. Brian knows to struggle. Flame power. 138,000. We got pretty close, I think, last time. For our first time. So here's the flame power. If we get uh, these blocks with the power up, we actually get more... Hmm, now is that what you want here? Uh, I would say pretty much yeah. Oh, we don't want the fucking double ball. That might make some more sense to just have the... Yeah, just kill it. So there's situ uh, situations in here where you end up with these ones on the bottom, and there's no way to use the firepower to get those. So it's kind of tricky. In fact, it seems to me the strategy might be to try and destroy the bottom ones first, and then activate the firepower. You know what I mean? Activate the... Stupid... I'm already getting salty. The uh, bonus mode. I know some web dev, but want to get into Python for work, huh? Well, Python and web dev work really well together. They really, really do. Let's just take a time to warm up here. I have to get back in the swing. If I can't make headway into the field somewhere, I'm thinking about jumping ship for a trade, huh? Steve, you're so young, dude. That's so... That's so 2019, bro. You went to school for, you know, culinary arts and management. All that time you spent. All that money. And for what? Nothing. That's just the way it works, man. That's why I never went to school. That's one reason why I never went to school. What are you thinking about, Steve? Oh, wait, another firepower. Uh, do I want this? Uh, I don't see why not. Oh, I know why not. I just made a huge mistake. No, 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 so I do want this. Yeah, I want to do it like this. Oh, too early. There we go, I think. So, is it going to bounce in? If so, why? I don't really understand why that does that. The job market is shit. Everybody has a million degrees, so you gotta just, uh, you gotta get some just to compete. It's so crazy. It's a pretty easy stage to get a perfect on. So by losing a life, all I really lose is 1,000 points. So this is a crab. I didn't notice that before. Uh, so what do I want to do here? What's my strategy? There's a, a star block there that prevents me from just going up the middle and getting those stars. But even if I could, I want to destroy these blocks in the bottom first. Basically, you want to soften up the bottom if you have if you have this uh, firepower. Oh fuck! Well, I don't have the firepower anymore. Okay, so uh, let's just give up. It's mad points, you're right. And you definitely want to destroy that star block first, right? You don't want to... So basically, I guess maybe the, the thing is, you have to destroy the star block before you activate... Before you activate the points multiplier thingamajig. The bubble block thingamajig. The sunk cost fallacy, but it's definitely helped me rethink my life, and no matter what happens, they can't take away my culinary, such culinary management skills that are hella handy. Hey, you're right, Steve. But you get my point, though. My point is that we this whole educational system is ridiculous. You know, you have these kids. You, have to, you ask a kid, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? Like, you're too young. What do you know? I can avoid the danger zone. 
You gotta avoid the danger zone. Alright, so I have to destroy these blocks in the bottom. First of all. Okay, now I can uh, try and work it to the other direction. It's not going to be easy, though. There we go. Okay, so now I've got a much better chance of getting all these because I have none on the very bottom. I hate these this double ball thing. I mean, it's better than, I guess, nothing. I mean, it's doing pretty well right now. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of time left. I have to nudge it that way. Oh, fuck, I guess not. I don't know what the fuck, how the fuck I'm supposed to nudge it. Didn't we find that using the power gives you more points on regular blocks tour? Uh, uh, yes, they do. They do. But it bounces off erratically if I do. I have no idea how. If I use fire, I don't know how. Oh, I guess I see what you're saying, Brian. You're saying, why even fuck with the bubble thing, right? Like, what does it even... I don't even know what it does. It has, that, it has that perfect score thing, but... I think the perfect score... Like, my thinking was I wanted to activate the bubble as soon as possible, Brian. That was my thinking. But I could just literally ignore it and just use my fire and get all these blocks. And then I could get perfect more easily when I do get the star. But... Uh... So what are you saying, Brian? Because if I use my fire, I'm going to go right through all these blocks. Watch. I can't really use fire. Like, it goes right through everything. Right? So it's going to eat all these blocks. My, my goal is to try and save blocks until I can get the multiplier. Or do you misunderstand that when there's two balls, I can't activate it? So basically, what, what the problem I'm having here, Brian, is that when I get this, they all turn to bubbles, right? So I go through them all now. Right? Now watch what happens here. And go through this. And now I have two balls. I can no longer activate my firepower. That's the problem I have with this board. Is that I'm torn between what's better. The double ball. I can just let one ball die intentionally. Then I can get fire. Right? Now, that, now I can get my fire back. Right? But as long as I have two balls, I can't use my fire. The first few blocks to get into the bubble. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My, my, my thing is, if I use fire... I can't use fire that low. If I use fire that low, it's going to bounce off erratically, and I'm very likely to die. As far as I know, there's no way to tell where the ball's going to bounce when you use fire. So I don't want to do it this close to my paddle. That's the reason I'm not doing that. It's not going to bounce off if it blows through blocks. You're right, Brian. You're right. But it goes back to my first point, right? Of how many blocks do I want to leave for the multiplier? Because we established that the score you get when you have that bubble block activated is dependent on how many bubbles you pop, right? So if I destroy a bunch of blocks before that, there's going to be less bubbles to pop. It's not about the degree. It's about the friends you make along the way, exactly. Make a multiple castration to win a GBC game, huh? We'll pop in time remaining. So it just seems like you want to have no bubbles left, right? If I, right? I mean, like, what's why even at, the, at this point? Why even fuck around? Why fuck around with these bubbles? They seem pretty pointless. Right? Why not just do this? Let one of those die. Who cares? Fire seems to be better anyway. Like, why not just destroy every block we possibly can, leave one block for the end, and we have an amazing time score. So this is kind of bad, because we have these ones in the middle that I'm not grabbing. Are you serious? Well, I'm extremely salty. That's what I'm not doing. Blocks are important because you can break more blocks per second than time lost. Oh, good. It's still there. That's interesting.
Okay, so what's my score? 15,000. No. 22,000. That's my score. 22,000. Now I'm gonna go through and just do it straight away right into the star block. The bubble block, I'm gonna call it. I want to try and get underneath, but I can't. Okay, I'm gonna let one of these things die. Easier said than done, though. Like I'm compelled to uh, to save them. this game so much, dude. So, wait. Do I have 61,000 points? Didn't I have 20,000 last time? No, no, I have 6,000 points. So, you have to get the perfect score. You must get the perfect score. So, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna destroy all the blocks and leave the bubble block as late as I can. So, if you fail the perfect score, you might as well give up. On any board, it would seem. You must get the perfect. Bouncing the ball back and forth in the place. Dude, I, I can't help it, dude. I'm trying to nudge it differently each time, but the pixel resolution is so sl is so low. Excuse me, I need to... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and, like... Like, it's hard to make it go where you want it to go. It's really, really hard. I'm trying to avoid the star as long as I can, but again, no promises. Like, why did it not bounce off more sharply right there? How come I, went, I hit it on the very side of my fucking thing? I rammed it with the side of my paddle, and it still went at a very, very slight angle. I still have fire. Okay. So I can get fire and then immediately leave and then just restart the stage. Now I have fire. I have to go right up the middle or wherever I want to go. Surprise me there. I hate this game. But we're so close, hundred percent. You don't want to be above with the fire. You want to be below. There we go. Let one die if possible. There we go. If you work over from this side, how come it went that way? Alright, 
right, so now what happens? So our best score is 22,000, I think. Oh, I hit the fucking thing, but I got fucking... shit so much. I hate this shit so much. Alright. How many people are keeping up with the adventures of Baby Yoda and his adoptive father? Yeah, I have not seen a single episode of it. From right here, it's alright, though. Who's watching The Mandalorian? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same strategy again. I'm gonna try and go basically from left to right. I don't have that Disney shit, says Brian. Fuck that corporate shit. So let's play out, I guess. I should let it go to the bottom there. The reason I hate this game so much is that I feel like I have very little control over where the ball goes. It's like so hard to influence the ball. What time are you starting Luigi's tomorrow? I'm gonna make sure I'm there for that. Around 11 o'clock, uh, uh, roadkill. So I still have my power, okay. 11 o'clock Eastern time. I feel like I have no control over where the ball ends up going. I can't use my power on Big Kirby. It's kind of ironic. Why? Go the other fucking direct- Go the other direction, man! <sighs> there was those old movies. Yeah, I assumed it was from one of the old movies. No, no, no. Baby Yoda is from that new Mandalorian show. Baby Yoda looks like something out of the Muppets. It looked it intentionally. It's kind of a nice little detail, I think, it takes. To make him more true to Yoda's original design and made him more like a puppet. But you're right. He doesn't seem as, like, you know, CG-ified. Could be the one to save money, dicks. But in a show like that, I kind of doubt it. I think they just want to make him look more, you know, like his puppet version. But a bibby. Would it make sense to use Big Kirby during the bonus uh, chance since he flies faster? Especially when you're hitting the top bumpers and can't use the fire down. Kind of. Brian. He is fatter as well. The, the main reason I don't is that he lasts a long time and I cannot use my power any time during this period. So let's say I do use him downward. Let's say I use that to go downward at an angle and then I want to zoom back up into something above me. I really don't have that option anymore. I'm not a huge fan of Big Kirby at all when I have uh, a power up. Why didn't it... Okay. Okay. Okay, he's gonna bounce off some weird angle now, right? Yeah. Alright, so now what's my score? Here's the question. This is my ultimate, this is my, this is my, this is my thesis here. That's a way better score! So the multiplier 
multiplies the blocks you destroyed in that stage, not the blocks you destroyed while they're bubbles. So you want to save the star for as late as possible, so you have the highest chance of getting the perfect. The second board will be a good example of why blocks are important. It does it when they are bubbles. But I got so many just now, Brian. I mean, somebody check the fucking footage. Check the clip just now. It multiplied, like, fucking 10,000 blocks, and I only ever hit, like, what, like, six when I was in their bubbles? Pretty sure his species is a gremlin, huh? Yoda species? Yeah, I don't know. It's a physical puppet, not a CGI add-in. Yeah, I think it's adorable. New show taking place about five years after the end of the original trilogy. Baby Yoda isn't Yoda, just the same species. Kind of figured that. But no one knows what his species is called. So that was bad RNG. I still got it, though. But I still don't... So I got 20, I got a little less than 20,000 on that board. Now my theory, which again, could barely be wrong, like everything goes so fast in this game, but my theory is that if hypothetically speaking, I think it's not possible in that stage, but if I had destroyed every block in that stage, except for one, then I got the circular star block, and then got the last bubble, I would have got the same score. I don't think it matters what I destroy when they're, when they're bubbles. So, uh, I think, what, Brian, I think what I gotta do here is I gotta destroy this star block, right? The, the big fat one. So I have to use my firepower, like you said, and just whatever, whatever way it bounces, just try and deal with it. It's high enough up where that's kind of feasible. I should just use my firepower here, too, to be honest. Like, why not? A lot of points, like a lot of fucking points. And I want my theory again. My theory is I want to save those stars for like as late as I possibly can. The circular ones. Okay, so I have to save the last one now for later. I don't really have to, but it seems like it's optimal to save it. But I also want to be the fire to get double points. Okay, that's all right. So I have to get a perfect here. Oh, there's another star block. Is that, was that always there, that star block? Or am I an idiot? Ugh. I hate this shit. It's okay. So I fucked up big time. But I got a lot of star points, so I'm gonna keep on rolling in this in this run, I guess. Ugh. That's just gonna happen. Like it's gonna be very hard to get every single perfect. I think you might be right about the blocks thing. Weird thing is, I know there were boards where you only got like a five block times five hundred multiplier with a bunch of time. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, Brian. Like, what would cause that then? What would cause that then? Oh, so I guess I really have no shot of winning this now, right? Uh, well, I might. I mean, there's still star blocks. 50,000 for the boss fight. So I actually still do have a shot. It's a very small shot. I just got to easy hit this block because of this power up. So now I want to not hit this, right? For did we just step to lives or we're going to multiplier? Like, if I hit my- if I use my power on it now, I'm gonna get a life. Instead of 3,000 points. And a life's only worth 1,000 points, so I wanna hit it raw, right? Oh, fuck. But I have to hit it, period. I have to avoid the star at all costs.
I should have just used my power to get that. Because I want to get it basically at any cost. Oh, at any cost! So now I've got very little shot at, uh... I have to get this, these points. I have to, again, I, if I'm going near the star, I have to use my fire to get away from the star. Okay, so let's get yeah, 3,000 points. Now I can go big Kirby. Alright, fuck. Yeah, it seemed to me, Brian, that it seems like I didn't get double points. I think I, I checked, but I only checked. There was no pop up that said I got more points. Doesn't mean I didn't get any points, so I could actually gotten points. I got fire for this, it should be easy. So much, dude. I hit him twice now. Uh, why did it go that way that time? Uh, I can't get it any over any further to the right for the record. I, I hit it going sideways. You can't. You can't just make it bounce that way. I hit it. I can't see your point, so I don't know if you did or not. I got it, though. So you don't gotta get all perfects on that board. I don't know why I had so much extra points. Yeah, that's a pretty high score, Brian. I didn't think I was gonna have that many extra points. So we have one more board left. Let's fucking go. Let's try and fix this in the meantime. Uh, I wanna do like this. Go here. Mm hmm. Then I want to uh, shrink this slightly. Mm hmm. Like that. And then recenter it. Let's see here. There we go. Sorry about that. I hate this internet issue. Only way I can keep up with the chat is by being on audio-only mode. I'm sorry, Steve. No one was causing that all of a sudden. Sounds like I gotta harass your ISP, dude. Venkabo. Uh, I don't know, Shinebox. This game is, uh, pretty rough. We've been playing it for a long time, Shinebox, so there's that. We have one more map left, Shinebox. Now, if it were you, of course you'd be godlike at it, because you're a fucking legend. I'm just a scrub. Maybe we should try it. It pisses me the fuck off, so I would get bodied. This game really pisses me off. I hate, I really wish it was more like Arkanoid, where if you hit anywhere off exactly center, it changes your angle. In this game, it's like your angle is fixed based on which angle you came from, unless you hit really, really close to the edges, and then it only changes it slightly. Pick your modem in tomorrow. I should, I should come here with a power. What power do I want? Fire is good in general. Rock is alright. Electricity is not the best. Basically, electricity is great, but you want to be able to control where you go. So, rock and uh, fire are both better in that respect. What's the last power? There's four powers, right? Electricity? Oh, spike! Spike is good too, but spike makes it really hard to hit blocks. It's kind of hard to block through spikes. I think I like fire the most. Let's, uh... Go get fire. Let's do the map first. We have plenty of time tonight. 
Exactly, uh, Brian. Let's just play through the stage and see what happens. I think you always want to be Big Kirby. We established that. Uh, it just seems like... Uh, he doesn't actually... I thought at first that he kind of fucked how many points you got, but I don't think he does. He just goes faster and has a bigger hitbox. And if you have no power-up, there's really no reason not to do it, it seems to me. But if you have power, there's a reason not to do it, because you can't use your power while you're big. You know, we didn't get one single bonus stage in that last mission, in terms of, like, you know, like the live bonus stages. So if I had a power, I could get through those blocks on top as well. I wonder how much they're worth. Okay, so my theory, which is yet unproven, conclusively, would suggest you want to actually avoid getting that glowing star in the middle. If I had fire here, this would be really trivial to hit those blocks in the upper... I mean, being able to hit the star blocks at will is so clutch. Yeah, you want to, you want to have fire. Again, I think I want to be big. I don't see why I wouldn't want to be big. So now I have to avoid hitting that one in the middle, but again, it's easier said than done. You really have very little control of where the ball goes in this game. Like, why did that one go at that angle? It makes zero fucking sense to me. Why did it... Oh, never mind. I'm self. Beep, beep, beep. Resetting your modem. It's a modem issue, and I can't keep resetting my router every 20 minutes. Hmm. Ha have you asked them on the phone to send, like, a refresh signal? Like, it just seems to me weird that it'd be a physical modem issue, not just one that could fix over software very easily. Like, modem issues are almost never the problem with when you have network problem problems. Usually, it almost always... A signal deg degradation issue. If it is, if it's a, when it rarely is a modem issue, they should be able to fix it just from their HQ. Yeah. So in this stage, it's really hard. They're kind of like something. Maybe they're telegraphing to use uh, to use fire because it's so hard to hit the star blocks in this stage because of where they're positioned in the upper right corner with all these blocks before them. Twelve times five hundred. Twelve times five hundred. Twelve blocks. So maybe it does only count the blocks that you destroy while they're bubbles, but the reason why it was so high last time was the time score remaining. It counts down the blocks first, then the time. And I think I had a really good time that last time. So, uh... Fire's good here, too. I can just take out these three pretty quickly. On the bottom. There. So now I could use fire and just blow this shit up if I had fire. Oh, fuck. I had to get a modem replaced once because of a similar issue for what Steve is having, but with mine, it just kept re uh, disconnecting, huh? I wasn't paying attention there. Let's just get fire. So that's over here. The tree. Borderline. Borderline. Could skip this. That'd be great. I think that with fire, this should be a much easier board. And it might even be trivial. Because we can get the stars at will, the star blocks, and plus we get double points every time we destroy a block with fire. We've been pretty close before. It disconnects, but it takes uh, 10 to 20 minutes for it to happen. 
This board's not going to be much easier with fire. I should have just... I should have just uh, used fire right there. Skip this stupid cutscene, please. It's like that's loading times. One of the buttons seemed to skip it. Didn't watch the whole thing this time. Okay. They have to watch it for a certain amount of time, I guess. Okay, so I use fire. I'm gonna get the double ball there. Oh, well. There you go. Yeah, double ball is like the worst power up. Like, you can't use your power anymore. You don't get any kind of multiplier. It's really fucking pointless. 500 points for that, huh? Probably worth it. Even though you can't. Oh, so if I had rock here. Oh, this is pretty bad. This is real bad. You don't want to be up here. So basically, if I have fire, I don't want to even go through these blocks. 500 points is not worth it. Because now we're in big doo-doo. Okay, worked out pretty well. Now this stage, we can get tons of points. The only purpose of like the double balls is if you have no other power up, and you can use that to very quickly. Let's just uh, kill these guys first. If you want to save that? I don't. My theory is you don't want to get that. Oh shit! That's buggy. Uh, this might be a soft lock. Look at my points though. Oh, it's free. Okay, so that worked out very poorly. What's up, KG? Yeah, okay. So you don't want that to happen. How's your uh, Saturday, KG? It was free points for a while, but the speed it came out at was pretty ridiculous. KG, the legend shine box. Denjean. Are you running errands and stuff, KG? Or are you working? Are you still in Texas, or did you finally go back home? There we go. What's up, Humpy? Zombie, I love Texas. He would, Humpy, you son of a bitch. Got a bad haircut, too, huh? Yeah, I should join you. That way you're not all alone. You gotta beat the stage first. Just don't use your powers here, really. Maybe use them a little bit. Why did see? Why did it bounce off that direction? It makes no sense why it bounced off that way, considering the angle I hit it at. Why? Why is it? We're gonna get more points here now. Okay, I'll get re reversed. Ugh. Does it go fast if you move and hit? Uh, not really. Sometimes it does. But it's very inconsistent. Everything about the way the fucking ball bounces off seems inconsistent. Like the angle you get. There you go. That's what you want to do. I should have used my fire more, to be honest. It's kind of tricky, though. Because we want to get double points. So we got more points there than usual. Alright, so now I really want to focus on... Let's just get the stars, because I want to make sure I get the stars maxed out before I get this bubble. Let's do it like this, then. Oh. 
Okay, what? I really wanted- I got hungry for that fucking... thing. Should just let it slide. It's only 1,000 points. Should let it slide. Not sure how to slow it down if I can. Yeah, so that's- everything went wrong, as always. Yeah, okay. GG. I just think- my theory about the way that the fucking- here's my theory of why it seems inconsistent. This weird, bouncing fucking paddle thing. One is I think it uses sub-pixel precision. Because, of course, the Game Boy has, uh, a very low-res screen. I think that it's calculating where it bounces off on a sub-pixel level. So, even though it looks like one thing, it might actually be another thing, because it's not calculated based on only what I see. The other thing I think is that, I think that if I ram it with a certain speed, it does impact where it goes, but I have no control of that speed, or should I have very little control. We found out last time that as a sort of uh, assist, because the actual console has no analog. So basically, when you first got Breakout in arcades, it had an analog controller. So you could make it go back and forth at any speed you wanted. But because you have a Game Boy controller with only a D-pad, it actually goes slower the nearer it is to the ball, and faster the further it is. Basically, when you first press the direction. So if the ball is over here on the right, and I'm over here, right? And I press right, it goes insanely fast across. The other thing is, if I'm like right underneath it and I press right, it goes very slow. So, it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to know what speed you're going to be going at. It's a display like your monitor versus the Game Boy screen, huh? That'd be hilarious. This is very hard to predict where it goes. It's just so hard. I think that it's not, if I had to guess, I would say it's not random. I don't think, I'm not sure if it's a glitchy. It might be a little bit glitchy, maybe a little bit. I think it's just very hard to understand what causes it to go where it goes. Like, there probably is some kind of pattern to it. Like, sometimes, like, if I hit it at the, like, the 45 degree angle right there, it seems to be pretty consistent. Sometimes. But not right there, it didn't do it. Like, how come that time it went... Oh, this is pretty hard. I think I should let the ball... I should let the ball die, right? There's no time score on this board. So, having two balls is pointless. It seems like the only reason to have more than one ball is if you want to do something really fast. Ah, oh, I thought that was a... Okay. See, how come that time it didn't go off at a sharper angle? I don't get it. Let's go, KG. Next level. The run back. So, never, ever fire upward into this bouncer on the ceiling. It's not worth it to try and get this thing that I want. I was trying to get the the goody, the tasty, the food there. It's just not worth it. Uh, that's really annoying. Okay, so let's watch the scores. So I have 22,000 some points. Yeah, see, all I get is a 1-up. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Mistakes were made. Okay. So we still got a shot here. So now I want to well, get the life, to be honest. Like, it's better to get the life than to not get the life, you know what I mean? So how long is KG going to be in New York? One day I'll get a life, huh? One day. What do you want to do, Humpy? If you could do anything, what would you do, Humpy? What kind of life do you want to have? So I want to save... My theory is I want to save that bubble for last. So I basically just want to go through and destroy all these blocks with the fire. Let's get that extra pointage.
So I'm gonna go with the hockey, I guess, because this one is really annoying, the star catcher, because you have no clue how fast your paddle's gonna move. It seems random. Wow, KG, you're moving to New York? That's fucking sick, dude. That's sick. You're gonna hella level up. You're gonna be probably the scariest engine in the US. How you make you go faster? <laughs> what? Oh, I see. You have to go up into it. I see. I got gotcha. you. You have to meet it there. Okay, I see. You have to meet it with your attack. Sense. Footsies. Damn, rest in peace. Gonna farm that Reno from Reno from Daisuke. Yeah, I forgot about Daisuke. But he doesn't play. Uh, he doesn't play Dungeon, right? You'd be a lunch lady, huh? Well, why don't you try and do that then, dude? Work fast food. That'd be more rewarding than you think. All right, so now I I have my power still. I want to... Hmm, no. Here we go. I want to save that for last. I also want to destroy these ones on the bottom if I can. Okay, so I'm above. I don't want to be above. I want to be below. There's still a few down there that I have to destroy, though, that are kind of low to the ground. Mm, no. Oh, I could have actually finished it right there. No, no, I would finish it too soon that way. Now I have to get. Now I actually want to get this. Uh, st oh no! No, I might as well let it rock at this point. Almighty, dude. Jesus Christ, bro. God, I fucking hate this game. It's okay. Worth it. Feel perfect. This will happen, Brian, but I need to prove myself first, huh? He doesn't, but he doesn't, he knows how to play Dungeon very well. Okay. Maybe like Chef on South Park, huh? That's the one everybody looks up to. So, I get 50,000 for this. I have no chance of getting uh, the high score. How did I fuck it up that bad? Man, it's really demanding. It's a really demanding one. I mean, I thought I did pretty well, all things considered. I had to have like 70,000. I have to have like uh, 60,000 before I hit the boss. I'm gonna let the ball die as soon as I can here. The second ball. It makes no sense. It's worthless. Four hundred? Only four hundred. Fuck! God damn, I hate this game. But we're almost fucking done. 
Like, why not just let me choose the power that I get? Like, just, if I'm on the map screen, let me pick a power. Because it's just very pointless to just do this every single time. Right, so let me, if I'm here, let me pick my power. What's up, Signal? What do I do if my stream and Steam applications aren't launching? I've tried everything that I know. Have you tried Google? Because it's gonna give you much better advice than I can. Yeah, I went right through that guy. Okay, so that's how that works. I meant Steam, but yeah, I've Googled it and nothing worked. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Signal. Then there's nothing I can do. I like you're fucked, my friend. I'm so lucky, Brian. This is a pretty bad situation right now, though. It could be worse, I guess. My favorite signal app, download OBS and then screen capture what it looks like when you when it fails to launch. Upload it on YouTube and then link it to me and I'll, I'll check it out for you. It's so hard to not get that shit, man. Like, you just can't you just can't help but get it. Oh, don't do that. I always fall for that trap. It's like it's by design. straight up into the star block on the first shot instead of from an angle. Okay. But I can't I can't go straight up, you know that, right? Like you must have noticed that by now. Probably for that very reason. When you have when you have control of the ball on the paddle, it won't go straight up. It'll go any it'll go a few different angles, but it won't go straight up. Probably because that'd make things too easy. Wow, this was the worst idea. Okay. Weird because it shows the straight up. Or does it really? I don't think it does. Let's find out. Okay. Is there rights? Lefts? Lefts? Rights? Rights? Lefts? Lefts? Rights? Right? Look, Yosuke! Kirby Brick Breaker, dude. Yeah, there is no straight up. There's only angles. It won't go straight, straight up. Everything always requires a little angle to it. One block left. That's not what they make. They're like, Meh. very bad score there, huh? Just made it back to Kyosuke, where I'm comfortable with everything, huh? Yeah, I think you're. You were never Kyosuke on Twitch, were you before? All right. So.
Okay, so now I gotta avoid that star at all costs. Don't power up through there. Okay, that worked out pretty well. So I really can't get any. Okay, I can do this though. How about that? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I can control the angle. Oh, how about that? So now I want the star. How am I going to get it? I have to go in from an angle. I have to go in from the side. I really can't. If I had the rock, I could avoid getting that one on the bottom, but I really can't. Okay, well now I can get this one using my firepower. There you go. So I have a huge time bonus now. So let's see what the block bonus is. One, 500. 30 by 500. That's what it is. You want the time bonus. But it's like Brian said, though. You can get more than one block per second. But it's such a huge risk. Sorry, Signap. Yeah, you have to look up how to use OBS. They use OBS, don't use Game Bar. I don't believe so. Plus, my Frosty Fossil entry name is Kyosuke. Nice, dude, nice. Hey, what's up, uh, Uncle Felix? Okay, so let's see here. So I want you to uh, eat up all the ones at the bottom first. There we go. Okay, now I want you to do this. And destroy as many as I can. Oh, what the fuck? What did I bounce off of? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, shit. I should have kept going, right? That was actually the run. Fuck, I messed up. Okay. I had 70,000 points. Actually, I didn't need to get much more, many more points. No, just playing this game, uh, Uncle Felix. Man, I hate this game. I'm really, it really frustrates me a lot. But we're close to actually completing it, you know, 100%. So I kind of want to finish it, you know, 100%, just, cause, just to say we did it. Even though I really don't like this game that much. Do you ever just 100% brick, uh, brick Breaker? Tonight we will. We're close. Okay. Let that one die. Okay. I mean, it's points, I guess. So there's still one block left. Me. Oh, that sounds like. Pretty bird. God. No, go the other way. Ugh. This is why it's such a huge problem that the middle of the platform is so big. There's so there's such a wide area where you can't control where it goes at all. So it's like you're stuck in these loops forever. Let's go, Shine Box. Get that Biza. If is it wrong if my Ryu is somehow stronger than my Dudley? No, not at all, Darian. You're very new to the game. If you picked Chun Li, you'd be amazing. If you picked you know someone like Alan, who's very easy to use, you might find stuff really really godlike compared to your other stuff. But you have such little idea how to play the game, it's not unusual for you to pick a different character and find that your win rate is much different. Only way to get a good score on that first board is to somehow get lucky and hit one of the change items early from the enemies, huh? Yeah. Okay. I hate this game so much. It doesn't really matter. Like, that stage doesn't really matter. It's going to be low score either way, it seems like. You just want to get through it and not... You know, tear your hair out. Double click, click. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. Saying, you have to send a video, 100. percent Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Alright. I think I didn't get my fire off after all. Look, I do. And with gorgeous locks like yours, the last thing you want to do is rip your hair out. Oh, I'm bored, dude. Dude. So we have another hour and a half to play this game. It's, gonna, it's plenty of time. We're going to do it. It's just going to be a matter of patience. Just keep on doing it until I do it. I could have got it last time, but I was uh, impatient. Guards, asshole from spaghetti. Dude, you can trust Kaiju, bro. He's not always trying to put spaghetti in your ass. Only once you've wronged him. So it's safe to destroy that one. Just don't destroy the middle one first. Oh, okay. Okay. Never destroy the middle one. It's just not worth it. Live and learn. Destroy anyone but the middle one. Right? Because the problem with the middle one is not just that there's no way back in if the other ones are filled up, but you can get in that endless loop where you can never get out. Asshole spaghetti shine box. You can blame Kaiju for that. Anyway. This is not a super friend uh, family friendly stream at all. Especially when I'm playing games like this. I feel something inside of me, guys. Something inhuman. Something different from a man. Neither lesser nor... nor more. Just different and gross. Something compelling. Okay, just gotta fight my way back in now. 500 points, like, is it gonna really be worth it? I mean, maybe. This is a very inhumane game, so not for sure it is. There we go. That's the lowest score I've ever gotten on that stage. Wow. That's crazy. So do you get a multiplier when you're in the ball form? Like, the double ball? Is that gonna be a multiplier? How did I get half the score I usually get? That's what you want to do right there. Hit it fast. That's what she likes. Ah, go the other way, dude. Why? Why did it go up? Fucking it up! Okay. Okay. Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Fuck! Okay, I got lucky. There you go. Oh, I got it one more time. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Now I just gotta get that star, which should just be pure luck at this point. So I'm getting 100 points each for those now. Let's one die. Now what are they worth? 100. So yeah, I don't get a multiplier for... It doesn't change the color of all of them, though. I thought it was changed the color of all of them. I thought it reversed their colors. I like technical characters, which is why I'm debating on using Makoto. 
Any character is technical, Kiyosuke. 100%. Depends on how far you want to read into it. So I have a really high score now. Why? What did I do? What did I do differently? Well, for me, I feel Gearing is a bit tentacled, depending on how you use him. Every character is tentacle, depending on how you use them. Got some yellow blocks this time. But look at how I, I more than doubled my score. Don't the yellow blocks just essentially give you double? And then even then, they didn't all turn yellow. Okay, could have been better, could have been worse. Why did it? Why? 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 It hit. Can someone clip that? It hit my paddle on the left, but its trajectory went more to the right. So salty, dude. Oh my god. Broke with fire, I got you. I was gonna bounce off like that. It hit me on the left side, and then it went like that. Like, what? Why? Why go straight up? And you. Like, it happened again! I, I, I rammed it going left! It hit me on the left side, it still changed to go straight up. God. I hit it on my left, going left. Oh, don't do that. Oh, okay. Well, this is gonna be pretty bad, actually. Wow, that worked out pretty well. Okay. So this is a pretty good run. Even if I lose fire at this point, I've got a shot. What did I bounce off of that killed me last time? The invisible block that had the star in it. That's what killed me. I just destroyed these ones in the bottom. Should have done that last time, to be honest. I fucked up. Let that one die. Okay. Ugh, God, I hate this shit so much, dude. I just wanted it to go further a little... Right! But it doesn't. It just doesn't. Okay. So I want to get that. Okay. Let's try, uh... I've got fire. Fire is actually not going to help me here. Thank you, Brian. Oh, I actually don't have fire. Okay, I see. Side, though. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> I 
whatever, bro. Yeah, see, I can't control where it goes. Like, when it goes this fast, it's, like, pointless to try. I hate this game. So we have essentially enough points now. Not completely enough points, but close. I have to destroy these ones on the bottom so bad. I have to bounce it off at that angle as well. Fuck! Oh, this is bad. Why did it bounce off of that direction? It makes no sense. Ugh. Oh my. Okay, this is our run. This is our run. You ain't lying, Brian. Okay, so let's go big Kirby. Oh, it goes through those. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, let's just get the rest of these blocks. We have about 80,000 points, 10 lives. This is a pretty good score, I think. Looking forward to the last board, beat that. Hopefully there's no goddamn borderline for that one. I think fire's not gonna help me that much here. Rock would be better. Well, oh my. why did it go that way? I mean, I'm lucky it did, but it shouldn't have gone that way. Okay. Got it. All right. Here we go, guys. 140,000. That's the last borderline. You guys know what that means. So free to sing along, guys, if you guys want to. Very close. Similar position. It's not over yet, Brian. Don't pop off, dude. Talk shit, get hit. So now we have to beat the secret final stage. I only unlocked the 11th board. But I think there's no borderline here. Boy, I sure hope not. Here we go. Stage 11, Duty's Castle. Please, Jesus. No borderline, please. Okay, all we gotta do is win. All we gotta do is win. Hmm. 
man. So I still have fire. But I need rock. That doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. So it does turn some of the yellow ones blue. I kind of hoping that maybe it would always be in your favor to hit those. So I found out that last time that, uh, much to my surprise, it doesn't turn them all color. I thought it, I thought it affected every block, but it doesn't. It affects selective blocks. You really want to have rock here. Because most of the shit is coming from this side. I got a power up down there, but I think I don't want to switch it again. If you want to have it, I'll be yellow, like in that one song. What's it called? So I want to focus on these stars now immediately. Let's just try and control this ball as best as we possibly can to get these stars. Okay. So I want to send it back this way. No, 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 no. Go back in. Go back. Alright, that's weird. Don't go over here, though. That's, this is the death pit. Don't want to be over here. This is where you're going to die. I somehow sent it the other way. I went to send it back somehow. Ah. Okay. Alright, so we got all the points there we can get. Now we gotta go this other way. I have no control over where this thing's going right now, dude. Ugh. God. This shit's so fucking frustrating. Okay. This is good. What's up, War Machine? Do, 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 do. This seems kind of ideal, I guess. Okay, I want to let it free. Oh, thank Christ. How's it happening, machine? That's one down, one of three. Okay, fire is godlike here. Super godlike. Almost suspiciously godlike. Okay, we got pretty well. Oh, fuck. I get to pick my power? I'm on fire, then. Okay. Here we go. Beep, 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 beep. Sideways ones here, it's alright. I should have two earlier right there. It's alright. Okay. Maybe you need more dooby dooby doos in your music machine. Fuck. No, it strikes me. You could hypothetically. You could hypothetically. Make them all yellow, hit them all, then make them all yellow again. Can I just get up there? Yes. 
Yes! Now we gotta send it back that way somehow. Ugh. Okay, better than nothing. Okay, good. Good. Oh, thank Christ. You don't seem like you're having fun anymore, huh? Yeah, this game uh, really pisses me off, machine. But we're gonna beat it very shortly. Alright, what is all this shit? Why is there a star block in there? There's lots of spikes here. Many, 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 many spikes. Am I trying to fire up into this guy? What's his deal? That's a star block. Fuck! There we go. Okay, that's what you want. I think, maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know, my heart tells that's actually what I wanted. Okay, I'm pretty well. Just try to send it back. Okay. Oh fuck! Okay. There we go. This is what pissed Venka sounds like. He sounded more exhausted than anything else. A little bit of all the above, machine. Okay. Wait. Stage four. Oh no. Oh no. I think what I'm thinking. This is gonna be a really, really long board where they sprinkle the stars around through it. or not? Yes. Uh, give me that. Okay. Not sure if you can earn extra lives. That's something I need here, though. I can earn that life, though. Oh, no, I have to be fat Kirby for that. Okay. Oh, if I'm fat, I don't get hit by spikes, either. I forgot about that shit. Okay. Fuck. Should have been fat there. Didn't get that. That's bullshit. Oh, good, good, good. Yes! Good, excellent. Okay. Go back the other way. Okay. Excellent! Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll take it! I need lives. I need a lot of lives here. Because the boss fight's gonna be really hard. Now I can't guarantee I'm gonna have all these star blocks. So I have a rock now. I can get I can choose my power here, what power should I choose? Uh looks like fire would be good here. I already have uh let's just go with fire, I guess. Could be better to be honest. Okay, 
Lots of points. I got an extra point school. Give me lives. I need lives. I get lives from these, though. Oh, how about that? Uh, it's good for getting the hell out of here, at least. It's not for high, getting a high score. Okay, I should have gone uh, massive there. Good, good, I got more lives. Okay, good, 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 good. That's the trick. Uh, there's one more block left in the upper corner there. I need to get these... Oh, star blocks! Fuck. I really can't control him, though, at this point, so it's kind of like I just gotta get lucky and get these star blocks. See, if I'd been, if I'd been spiky, I could have got these star blocks pretty easily. I got one, at least. Yeah, there's number two. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means, Brian. Maybe it means it's officially, that's like the second stage, maybe? So now we're like, I have one more left. I've worked out pretty well. Okay. <sighs> oh, get your ass in there, bro. Oh, let's fucking go, dude. That worked out pretty well. I like to get in there. It's not gonna be easy, though. At this rate, though, I almost feel like it's going to be harder to win the stage now, but we haven't actually hit that thing on accident yet, which kind of surprises me. So I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to be easy to hit that shit. Like, now we have to basically get the fuck out of here. I need to get these two star thingamajigs. That'd be great, but uh, it also would be great to get out of here eventually without dying from these spikes. It's not looking very promising so far. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. This is gonna be our first stream, guys. I'm gonna lose a life from these spikes, I'm telling you. This game just makes me think of that one noise that Ghost from Paper Mario made, huh? Ugh. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, we're out of here. Okay. Yeah, something like that machine. You mean Dupliss. Warp Star. So I need to make him big and fat here. I'm big and fat, muscle immune to spikes, which is nice. Oh, that's the boss. Seven lives. Fucking DDD. Got fire, which is good. I want to combo this guy, basically. I want to get underneath him and combo him. Oh, this shit's cheap. Okay, wait. Oh, no! How can this be? How can this be? Oh, no. You don't want to be underneath him. You want to be above him, but... Okay. Or his sides are good, too. <sighs> okay, don't be underneath him. Okay, that worked out pretty well. 
Got plenty of lives to work with here. Oh no! This boy cheap! He freezes them momentarily when they get hit, which sucks. Oh, that was cheap. Oh, that's so cheap. That's so cheap! Oh, my... G fucking G! How can this DDD? -D -D? Yo, KG, was that cheap? That was dungeon cheap, dude. Eat shit, dude. Couldn't agree more, Brian. This seems like one of those things I just turn off and never play again, huh? Yeah. I would have rage quit a long time ago. But by pure luck, we got pretty far the first day. Okay. Let's be real, guys. This game had good graphics. It had good music. It looks great in the Game Boy Color. The gameplay has a lot of potential. I like a lot of the ideas. But I really, really hate the way the paddle behaves in this game. Like, it makes regular Arkanoid look hella easy in comparison, right? Because in regular Arkanoid, you have... I mean, even when I play Arkanoid or other Breakout clones, I feel like a lot of it is random. Because it moves very fast. Right? But at least in those games, you have some control over where the ball goes. In this game, you have some control over where it goes, but it's so minute compared to other Breakout games. Like, it seems like it's just so hard to make it go anywhere, aside from where it's gonna go. And if you do make it go somewhere else, uh, you can kind of influence it a little bit, but you don't have a lot of fine-grained control over it at all. There's just a, not that much subtlety in terms of your control of where it goes, which sucks when you're trying to play a game like this where you want to actually make the ball go where you want it to go. But of course, if it was too easy to make it go where you want it to go, it'd be a pretty easy game, right? But I'll tell you what. It's very frustrating. It gave me that, it can give me like a Sonic Spinball vibe. I really hated Sonic Spinball, as KG knows. And it was a big part because I felt like I, it was out of my control all the time. Like it was totally hard to understand how it shows where the ball went. This game was very f similar in that respect. There are times where I was sure it would go one way, and it did not go that way, which is uh, very frustrating as a gamer. Was it a terrible game? Did I have zero fun? No, no, no. I had some fun. But, wow, it'd be kind of a rough game to have gotten, you know, for a gift back in the day. Because it's kind of ass. See ya! The end, congratulations. It looks great, and again, the Game Boy Color uh, colors are really good. Kind of weird how he has no right side of his body. I guess that would be his left, right? So, most Kirby games have unlockables when you beat them. Most games it's the same, or maybe not. Oh, okay. I can press a button now. So, I saw DD flying across the space there. The song is still playing with unique music. It hasn't looped yet, I don't think. I enjoyed theorizing with you about how to get high scores. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. I would say, here, how about this? Here's the best praise I can give it. It had more going on in terms of my actual influence as a player than Kirby's, uh, Kirby's uh, Pinball Land, which we tested to demonstrate has very, you have very little control over that game at all. At least this game, you could kind of theorize and kind of try and get high scores, and it kind of worked a lot of the time. It just seems like it didn't work when you needed to the most. Pinball Land had better graphics across the board, but the gameplay seemed more vapid in this game. Didn't even show up on the scoreboard? Oh my... Jesus. I thought I did well. Didn't die against DDD. There you go. Got a crown? That's a game. I can't argue with that. I like having a crown. 
But is there no unlockables at all? Okay. Yeah, so we beat it. I'm satisfied. Couldn't say that I was in love with this game or anything. But, uh, again, it could have been a lot worse, I guess. I would say so far, Kirby hasn't had a really, 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 really terrible game that we've played. But next up is Kirby Superstar, which is fucking godlike. In fact, right now it's 10 o'clock. We probably have time to to start it up. I don't see why we shouldn't. We probably play through like uh, play through the first easy game of that. What's up, Apples? Here on a Sunday, Apples our new schedule. We're every Sunday lately. GG KG. Yeah, fuck this game. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I guess it had a good soundtrack at least. I was. Do you want to play Mario? Um. No, not really apples. I'll tell you why. Because that netcode is really rough. Aside from the shitty controls, it has a lot going on for a breakout game. I don't know. I guess you're right, Ryan. It kind of does. But again, Arc Node also has a lot going on. And it's kind of like the standard. Apples, we gotta get you on RetroArc so you can play NetPlay with us. You should actually be my partner in, in uh, Kirby Apples. That'd be sick. Wait, 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 wait. Apples has a Switch. Apples, do you want to play Mario Bros? On NES? Because I'll do that. I'm going to set up right now. Real Fisher Break Guys come right back with something. I'll see you guys very shortly. Let's buy that mech fighting game. Mech fighting game? For Switch? I don't even heard of it. Versus no mutant will find out. Let's go, Apples. Here we go. This is going to be amazing. We just gotta get a Switch, dude! Guys, as usual, if you guys enjoy hanging out, I'll keep the channel on, then check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Venkabot. I stream for six nights a week, six hours a night, and I'm gonna stream, and I'm gonna stream all night long. Guys, if you guys read the blog post I made today about this week's schedule, you will have read that for the first time ever, I actually oh God, digitally remastered no! a movie <laughs> to make it look better for Pizza in a Movie, coming this Friday. So, let me just say that there are things I do after the stream that are kind of unusual. It's a big part of what I like about streaming, right? The fact that I can do unusual stuff like that as a way to make the stream more, you know, interesting. It's more varied. But uh, that's sort of what I enjoy about the stream and also what's kind of exhausting about it. Hey, little crime! So, you guys that are helping out on Patreon. That's one of the things you guys are supporting, is me, after hours, doing stupid shit like figuring out how to remaster movies. Hello, Kanaki! Don't forget 11 Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 I think we're starting here in a little while. We're gonna play a little bit of Mario Bros. and then play some Metal Gear Solid. I would never forget that, Kanaki. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to beating that game tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. We appreciate your hard work. It's gonna be interesting. I'd love to show you guys more. I might make a video about how I did it and put it on YouTube, because it was very exciting. A little bit of poop. Yeah, some of you guys know, uh, between streams, I- oh look at there's something wrong with that clip. It's the wrong length. By uh, quite a lot. Did- did it crash? No. Well, why is it not changing- no, I guess I gotta fix this now. 